I'm at this dude's house, so shout out to you, bro, for letting me use some of the space at your place. <laughs> Whatever. Huh? So you can find me, I'll pay. Aw, oh, dang. That beginning clip of today's video is basically showing how Erlan back like 2017, 2018 used to be there for me and he's the same guy that's here for me today working on the current cars that you guys can see like the 640i um, and you know even the E91 M3, all these cars since 2017 up until now, all the major kind of stuff, he's always been there for me and always trying to help me work on my projects even when things get super rough for him. That being said, there's actually a story that not many people know about my boy Erlan. Erlan was actually a random dude. Um, um, I just, uh, I put up a bumper for free on Facebook Marketplace one day, hit me up. He's like, bro, I want it. I'm like, come get it. You know, I don't really care. I just want, you know, to help out some people instead of throwing it away. I'm sure somebody needs this bumper. He picked up this bumper. Um, he just kind of said, what's up, what's up? He said he saw some of my videos. I was only like maybe five or 10,000 subscribers at the time. So I didn't know if he was like being for real, for real. So I was like, ah, oh, whatever. I appreciate it though. You know, it's cool. Enjoy the bumper. We, we part our ways. A couple months probably go by and then my E90, the Chameleon Wrapped one, which I'm gonna pop up right over here. For those of you guys who are OGs to the channel, know my Chameleon Wrapped E90, my first ever BMW that I decided to buy um, pretty much, I think like literally the end of high school, beginning of college. It's kind of like a gift to myself for going to college because I absolutely hate college. But long story short, got the car, um, the water pump failed, ended up spending a buttload of money trying to get that thing fixed, took it to BMW, sold my E36 to get my water pump done at BMW. It was like $1,800 and $1,900. And uh, long story short, um, that wasn't the only issue. A couple more weeks go by and basically my, I think it was my crank sensor, it just goes out the one, the sensor's underneath the intake manifold. I, I did not have any like expertise, mechanic expertise at the time. When I first saw my first BMW, I didn't even know how to take off a wheel. Um, so that's pretty much my, my skill level. My whole family is not car people, they're scientists and biologists and all that stuff for those of you guys who don't know. Um, I pretty much just started working on BMWs because I had a BMW that had a lot of problems and I just, it kind of forced me to start learning otherwise I'm gonna be broke and um, basically my boy Alon hits me up on it uh, like on YouTube like he comes to hey bro I can help you fix your sensor I posted a video saying my car is down I don't know what to do I'm very stressed out it's the only car I had at the time and uh, I sold my other car to fix the water pump and then basically that was the only car I had and, and it had even another issue and it was down because it would just it wouldn't even run so uh, he hit me up saying he wanted to come fix it so he came over and uh, he, he started working on it. he actually got everything off he pulled out the sensor I was you know very ecstatic he put in the new sensor, then he put in the bolt, and then he snapped the bolt. And long story short, then when that bolt snapped, he went home, he said, okay, I need to do some research, figure this out. He went home and I thought this dude just screwed me over. He snapped the bolt inside of my engine. I thought it was literally considered inside the engine at the time. Again, I didn't know much. It was, he was just, when he took, removed the intake manifold, I thought that was like deep inside the engine. That's still outside the block. But again, at the time, I didn't know much. And uh, yeah, long story short, I was just thinking the entire night he's gonna screw me over, he's gonna ditch me, and I'll have to tow the car to another shop and have them extract the screw, or I thought I have to replace the motor. I literally, you know, I was thinking all over the place, crazy thoughts. Next morning, he hit me up, he's like, hey man, I did the research, um, I, I bought a screw extractor kit, and I'm gonna swing by in the morning, and I was like, oh bro, please, that'd be amazing. So he swung by, and he actually extracted the screw, replaced the sensor, and got me on the road. He helped me. Back in 2017, 2018, on my first ever BMW, helped me get that car on the road. And ever since then, like, we've honestly become really good friends, and I've always wanted to help him. He always wanted to help me. We kind of always had, like, this little vibe where we just like to buy, you know, messed up BMWs, fix them together, and just, you know, see the flips, see the, the progress in our lives. It was just always satisfying. Um, but unfortunately for him, he just never really had that much good luck. He had a good streak, and then he lost it. He had another good streak, and then he lost it. And then last year in 2022, um, it was a really bad streak of cars. He was going with N55s and he got screwed over in so many N55s to the point to where he literally lost a lot of his money. And I really felt bad for him. 
Um, and for me, obviously I'm doing a lot better. We were trying to chase the RA dream. At the end of the day, I wanted to get my boy a car and that's exactly what we did in today's video, but not just any car. This is a car he's always wanted. And this is a project which is very important. No one likes to just get a nice car. If you get a nice car, there's nothing you can do about it. But if you get a project car, which me and him enjoyed the last five years working on cars together, buying a project car, modifying it, upgrading it, repairing it the way we want it is just the most satisfying thing in the world. That's why I don't buy M3s from dealerships. I buy M3s off Copart because that's just the way we like to do things. Very enjoyable for us. And at the same time, it's affordable. So, so this is something I've been trying to do for so, so, so long. And I'm just so thankful I'm able to do it. Real quick though, before we actually get into today's video, I do want to mention that this car that I ended up picking up for my boy Erline, I had two people help contribute to this as well. Jonathan and my brother. So basically my brother, uh, he really wanted to help in some kind of way because when he got an E92 and he had a bunch of issues, Erlon always helped him with it. No, like he never asked, Erlon is not the kind of guy to ask for anything. Like he doesn't, he just does it from the bottom of his heart. So he used to help my brother, he used to help Jonathan, he I mean, obviously helped me out a lot. I obviously want to be the main person that bought him this car, um, but Jonathan really wanted to be a part of it. And he's like, hey man, I'm gonna at least give you a couple hundred. So that's exactly what he did. He gave me a couple hundred to give to Erlon, um, a partial purchase of the car itself. And then uh, my brother actually uh, hit me up. He's like, hey man, I want to help you out. Uh, what's going on? I was like, actually, we just picked up a donor car, which you guys didn't see in this video as well. We picked up two of the same car for my boy um, because we're not obviously just going to buy him a messed up car and then give it to him and have him have, him have to spend money to fix it. Um, we bought him a donor car as well and he's going to be able to swap everything over. We're going to do it together, build this thing together. Um, my brother actually helped purchase that donor car, which again, shout out to my brother as well. So um, again, we're all just very thankful friends. We're thankful to have him. That's why, you know, our group is very strong. We got each other's back. And yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and jump right into the video I just want to kind of give you guys a little backstory, but I love the homie He's been such a good friend and uh, this and this has just been a long time coming So let's just go ahead and hop into the video actually the car we found uh, the Oz friend hit him up And he has a five yeah out of nowhere. It was like bro. We just checked out a 540 in the last video Yo, Hold on hold on. This story is too hilarious because we're like bro. We should get a car for Erlon. Sorry I have to, I have yeah. to jump in here. We yeah. have to get a car for Erlon. He, 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 he needs a car Y'all goes, come over here, y'all. Come over here. Y'all <laughs> goes, well, I, my friend, he he has this car for sale. He's like, it's just like, a, he's like, it's a 2002 540i. Just random, casually. Like, like, he's like, I don't think you guys will want it. <laughs> it's just so old. It's so old. It is old. I, like I told you guys, it's not my taste. But when Dior said that, I was like, dude, is he like smoking or something? Did you see my video today? Like, I just checked out a 540 for Alami because that's his dream. One of his, not it's his dream, dream It's literally an M5. M5 is his dream car. His dream car. But uh, E30, uh, E39 540, it's that's a second, dream car. Yeah, second dream car. So, and this one has M Sport manual, clean title, everything, bro. It's crazy. Crazy. It's crazy. And it's crazy. a really nice spec. Like, bro, we're just gonna, I think we're just gonna go get it. I think we have. To. All right, guys, we are heading out right now to go pick up a 540i, a, honestly, M Sport. It's kind of insane to say manual, clean title. This is my friend's dream car for a good deal. And, uh, Let's go make my boy's year, honestly. I know this is, he had a rough year last year, and I know this is gonna really help him take off a 2023 the right way, and uh, I'm just happy I'm able to do something like this for my friend. Got it on the trailer. Got a custom short shifter on there and everything. It's looking bro, really, really good. Gonna bro, it. he's gonna, bro. He's honestly one of the best five. I mean, again, it needs work, but needs we work. all love a car that needs work. We all do. And it looks good in here. Like sports seats and everything. Short shifter, manual. This thing's crazy. All right, I'm gonna help him. I know, it has tons of M Sport stuff. Yeah, we'll, we'll show you guys more. Well, Nor will show you guys more because I'm gonna be heading home, but. Crazy M Sport bumper. I'm excited for Alon. Bro, he's gonna love this dude.
right, guys, we have all the cars parked out front and we got the 540i in the garage. Uh, it's honestly one of those moments that's kind of nerve wracking for me because uh, I kind of want this surprise to be good and I'm hoping, he's, I'm hoping he's gonna be really happy with it. I know he's been always talking about uh, E39 540s as his dream car, um, but I mean, you guys, I don't know if you guys know, if you subscribe to his YouTube channel, his little YouTube channel is called E39, E39. It's just literally one of his dream cars. Um, obviously the E39 M5, but he also like, he had a 540 before and all he talks about is 540s. I just never gave the 540 a chance, but it looks like you guys are gonna see the 540i in the channel. We're gonna do a little build on it. And at the same time, I'm gonna surprise my uh, my good friend um, with something he's been really wanting, especially now he really needs it. All his other cars are down right now. And uh, it's just, it's one of those times, it's like, it's kind of rough for him right now. And I feel like this is the best time to get him this car. Um, obviously it needs a little bit of work, but uh, we'll get that dialed in probably in less than a weekend. So without further ado, it is a Saturday and I know he's with this girl and uh, I know like he doesn't do any work on weekends, but I'm gonna call him and see if him and his girl or even him will just come over for me um, just out of nowhere uh, for like at least 30 minutes. I'll be like, hey bro, can you come up like 30 minutes or something? I'll figure it out, I'll say it on the spot. Let's just see what he's up to right now. Nerve wracking, I'm not gonna lie. What's up, bro? Uh, you think I can borrow you for 30 minutes? And trust me, this is gonna be like a really good 30 minutes. Like you're gonna, you're, you're not gonna want to miss this 30 minutes. You need me to come to you? Yeah. You can even bring your wife. I just need you out for 30 minutes, or you. Doesn't matter. Your house? My house. My wife has a day off, by the way. But I need you out for 30 minutes. Okay. Is that possible? Yeah. Okay. Cool, cool. Uh, when can you guys come? Um. Uh... The sooner the better. Can you come now? I can leave in like 10, 15 minutes, yeah. You can leave in 10, 15, okay, so you'll be here in like 30? Yeah. Okay, that's perfect. All right, yeah, yeah, swing by. Um, are you gonna come just you or you and your girl? I'll bring my wife. Okay, bring your wife, yeah, that's perfect. My wife's at the house, so. All right, bro, I'll see you soon. All right, sounds good, later. Later. He didn't even ask me what we're doing. <laughs> Said, okay, I'll bring me and my wife for 30. You see, that's how good of a friend he is, though. Like, whenever I need him for anything major, he's always there for me. Um, and even when things are struggling for him, end of the day, he's there for me. And, uh, you know, like, I know I haven't gifted my brother a car, my best friend a car, uh, but this is literally like, I only have like three real friends in my life, and he's one of them. Um, and he's always there every single day, always helping me out, always helping me with good YouTube ideas and everything. But anyway, long story short, I want to get into all this. You guys probably heard everything on the intro, um, all, you know, sentimental and whatnot, because your boy's sentimental. Um, but without further ado, let's go ahead and get in the garage. I'm gonna go ahead and dry off the car. It is absolutely pouring right now, so pour it all over the car. And I'm gonna go ahead and just try to get you guys some cinematics before he actually gets here. I'm probably gonna tell him to walk through the front door, um, talk to him for a little bit, and then, uh, you know, just kind of talk to him about life and just random stuff. And then all of a sudden, I'm gonna tell him like, hey bro, you should check out the garage. Um, I have a new project and I'm kind of curious what your opinion is on this or something like that. And then I'm gonna tell him like, hey bro, here's the keys or something, I don't know. We'll figure it out, we'll figure it out, guys. I'm kind of like all over the place. I've never actually done this before for a good friend of mine. And this is something I've always been wanting to do and I'm very excited for it. So uh, yeah, let me go ahead and get the car cleaned up because he'll be here in about 30 minutes. I ran up a check, I might do it again. Enemies close, have me thinking they're friends. Ten toes down, I'll be free until the end. Crib outside the city, I don't feel safe in my ass. Took so many years, I'm just waiting for the wins. I'm in debt to no one but the one who took my sins. I do it for real, there's no reason to pretend. If I do it once, I do it again. Add it up, add it up. Bankroll, bankroll. Euro, euro. Peso, peso. Add it up, add it up. I'm just doing me, everything is on me. Oh, you matter what? Add it up, add it up. Alright guys, so at this point I'm gonna go ahead and head inside and just clean up a little bit and just wait for them to get here. I'm gonna set up the camera and try to get the reaction. I'm gonna ask if it's okay for me to use this reaction. Um, obviously after I shoot it, I don't wanna ask him before because that ruins the whole surprise. Um, but uh, yeah, it's gonna be a very organic, natural reaction. And I hope he's not gonna look at it and be like, oh, what a piece of junk, <laughs> imagine. Alright guys, time for the surprise. I heard them pull up, the camera's on. I'm gonna go ahead and just do a little bit of chatting. We'll be back here in a minute. So, go check it out. Found this car. Yeah, the Damn. Dent. That dent is the only thing. Don't look at that dent. Other than that, <laughs> how did that even happen? That dent. I don't know. I got it. Oh mm -hmm. shit! That's embarrassing. <laughs> oh, it's like something scratched it or something like that. Yeah. Remember this color is my original color. Is it? This was your color? Yeah, the, the 540 I got. Oh yeah, from the 540. Yeah. This is the 528. Okay, so <laughs> <laughs> Huh? Oh no, that's okay. I'm, 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 I'm
So it's black interior, okay. manual. Okay. And uh, obviously it's got an M Sport steering wheel. If you look at the front end, I'm gonna pop the hood as well. Yeah, where'd you find it? So the op, I don't know where we were talking about you yesterday. Uh-huh. And the op, he said, bro, I have a friend. He has a 540. I, I thought, I, I wasn't interested in the car. I figured you're not being interested in the car, but that's what you guys are interested in. I was like, not really. I don't know 540 guy, yeah, but he likes 540s. Yeah. Long story short, it's a good spec, clean title. Run, uh, runs and drives. One wheel is bent. Only issue with the car, uh, I really drove it in here. He did every service on this engine. Including the timing chain guides? Huh? Including the timing chain guides? He or? said the timing chain guides were done already. Set this up right here, obviously, as you know, brother. This is your car. What do you mean? <laughs> it's your car. We, we, well, obviously, I know, bro, you need a car. And uh, I was trying to get you a 328 mm -hmm. for the longest time. But I can't find you a 328 that's reasonable and that you'll like it. Because you guys had a pretty nice 328. So I was like, okay, bro, like, it's a 540 manual, black interior, clean title. Runs and drives, yeah. hard to find. Title is all legit, so it's not like you have to be sketched out. You register this thing tomorrow, you just gotta put the control on. Got it last night, so. Yeah. No, you didn't. I'm serious. Is it that ugly? No. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what to say. I just don't know if I can take it. What kind of a. What are you saying? For free. For, I can't think of No, free. it's free, bro. No, I can't think It's never free. Do that. Nah. Just but, like Put me onto it. And guys, we are back in the garage. Erlan actually went back home to get changed up because he is super excited to get working on this car. Um, for those of you guys who think his reaction wasn't like, oh my gosh, I'm freaking out. Uh, the thing is with Erlan, um, he, pretty much after I cut the camera, he was like, dude, I'm not gonna take this car. Like, this is, uh, we're homies. You know, I do things for you because we're brothers and stuff like that. Like, uh, he just loves helping me. Like, literally the fact that I called him, he's willing to show up on a Saturday with his wife. Like, guys, tell me how many people are willing to do that um, for you. Like, I mean, it's just not a common thing. It's not a common, uh, you know, type of friend to have in your life. And I'm very blessed to have him in my life. And I told him, like, Bro, this is for you, 100% for you. I know this is one of your dream cars. I know a lot of you guys actually mentioned when I looked at that other 540, which was like a clapped out version of this one, um, that you know you guys wanna see a 540 on the channel. 540s are being very, very, very desirable nowadays, and they constantly are going up in value. I think a low mileage 540i clean title, which this is a clean title, manual. Uh, I mean, it's a LCI. I mean, it has all pretty much the bells and whistles, even as the rear sunshade, PDC sensors. Um, it has all the good options, and it has all the maintenance done on it. Uh, uh, I could clean one of these with lower mileage. Um, this one obviously needs some body work and uh uh, the mileage is about 170 on this, but a uh, low mileage one of these can go for around 40 to $50,000, which is kind of insane. Um, so finding anything over, I think anything over 150,000 miles are worth like 10 grand. Um, obviously the price we got this for was a killer deal, um, but, and that just, it took us years. Like me and Arlon were looking for this for years, and we always said when we find one, we'll do a project together, and I decided when I found one, I wanna get it for him because he just deserves it. And at the end of the day, like he was like, Nor, I'm not gonna take this. How about I help you do like, you know, the engine swap or whatever on the 330? or something or like I hope you do this this is I'm like bro this isn't a debt to you this is for you to keep a hundred percent and obviously it's not like this is me paying him off for anything this is a gift to him and, and he was trying to make it up to me some way or another I'm like bro you've already made it up to me like all these years you being there for me that means the world and again this is for you so yeah guys you guys are gonna see when he gets back how excited he's literally said I'm, I can't go home today without getting this thing sorted today is Saturday I told him to come back on Monday and uh, you know we can, we can figure this out get it driving and drive this thing home Monday he's like I can't sleep without driving this home today so all uh, right we're gonna head down to pick a pull right now in the rain and actually get the whole real wheels assembly the hub and everything uh, i'm gonna take all that off right now we're gonna head down to i pull you pull get that whole assembly come back put it on and actually start driving this thing um so yeah he's excited he went home to change for me i'm gonna go ahead and just get on top of it i'm gonna start removing all the suspension components in the wheel right now um so we can just get on top of that but uh our line did say he's gonna be doing content on this car and i'm also gonna be filming content with this car so if you guys want to go support his channel um he has his own youtube channel and he's way more knowledgeable when it comes to engine swaps and major things on cars. Um, so yeah, if you guys want to go show some love, E39, link down below. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get this wheel on.
just to kind of give you guys an idea how badly damaged this is, is snap this off the knuckle clean off, as you guys can see right there. If you guys look right over here in this little crack area, that control arm is completely snapped. Um, the axle seems just fine, but I'm probably gonna disconnect the axle as well. The shock, thankfully, uh, doesn't have any dents or any major damage, so uh, definitely the shock is still good. Yep, that's the brand right there, looking super spicy and nice. Um, and we have a few other control arms that are broken, but yeah, without further ado, let's just go ahead and just start disassembling this entire hub and just remove the entire hub and replace the entire hub altogether, um, just because uh, it's probably gonna be a whole lot easier to do that than to just, you know, replace the individual control arms. I mean, come on. Everything has strain on it, and I just would rather replace everything, including the axle. All right, guys, so unfortunately, I just realized that the rear subframe is cracked. Um, we could weld that up, but honestly, I don't really feel too comfortable with that. Now, unfortunately, I think situations like this, we basically have to replace the whole rear subframe. At one point, I thought we we're just replacing the whole wheel assembly. At this point, I think we get to replace the whole rear subframe. So that is unfortunate. I'm gonna go ahead and call my boy Alon real quick and see what he wants to do exactly, but dang, that sucks. All right guys, so this is where we're at right now. We got this entire assembly out of the passenger side, which is, you know, that's great and all, but unfortunately, I did just realize that uh, this subframe is not only cracked there and there, but it's also cracked right over here. Pretty big crack. So. That being said, this is what I was worried about. And I did ask the guy that I was buying the car from, you know, if this is a possibility. And he said, no, the stuff frame is perfectly fine. Um, so unfortunately, uh, you know, this was something I was afraid of, mainly because this is gonna be a lot of work to drop this rear subframe. It's not not possible, it's definitely possible. That means we have to just remove um, the drive shaft, we have to move the exhaust system, we're gonna have to disconnect uh, the, the differential, drop this entire rear end, and replace the entire rear end. Now, this is a lot of work. And I was really hoping this wasn't gonna be the problem because I really wanted Erlon to drive his brand new 540 back home um, but that's again probably the reason why we got it for such a good deal um, because this this is a lot more work than your typical person would put into this car all right guys to so remove the hub assembly and everything and like I showed you guys earlier we have a couple cracked pieces on this subframe uh, now because of that honestly I don't want to weld that up or repair it or anything like that I'd rather just replace the whole rear subframe so the car that you guys actually saw when I went to go check it out uh, remember I told you guys I found another 540 for like a thousand bucks I actually just called them um, the same one I checked out offered him 700 and he said yes he has better Better wheels on that car. It has some M Sport parts on that car, and has a rear subframe, obviously. So uh, I think if we cop it for seven hundred dollars, part out the rest of the car, make our money back, it pretty much repairs this car for free. Plus, we get a set of wheels. Can't really lose. So without further ado, let's go buy another car. <laughs> And just like that, guys, another 540 with the M Sport front bumper. <laughs> what are we doing, bro? Oh, <laughs> so we picked up this one definitely for the parts. It has it has matching wheels. So four of the same wheels, matching wheels. We just have to just get these repainted. Uh, but not only is the four matching, we have one fifth, the spare one, that are actually matching as well. All the panels on this side is good. It's got an M Sport steering wheel. Only 94,000 miles on the engine, which means the cats are good as well. And uh, the body's fully straight. We got an M Sport front bumper. These are the newer style headlights as well. Uh, so we're definitely going to pull what we need off of this, the rear end, the wheels, uh, part out the rest of it, try to break even and get that thing on the road as soon as possible. So I think for right now, it's going to have to conclude the first section of the 540 build. But uh, bro, what do you think? What do you think of the 540s? Hi, bro. Two 540s is like a dream come true. <laughs> He's been wanting a 540 for like four years now. And all of a sudden, we got two of them. But the irony. Two 540s, neither of them run yet. <laughs> We'll get, we we'll combining one of them pretty soon, you guys. But if you guys just smash that like button for me, I mean the absolute world. But without further ado, I'd have to conclude this video. I love y'all so much. Remember to stay humble. I'll see y'all on the next one. Peace out.